Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and it is during this month that Muslims believe. The first verses of Quran were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran that all you who believe it has been written upon you to fast the month of Ramadan as it was written on those ones who came before you so that you can observe God consciousness. Fasting Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam which lay the basis for how Muslims are required to live their lives and this period stretches for not more than 30 days. Sheikh Kasim Kamgisha, an expert in Islamic law and the deputy resident city commissioner of Nakawa division, emphasized that fasting during Ramadan is meant to encourage one's spiritual reflection. The observing of this fasting of the holy month of Ramadan is not that you are the first ones to fast and nor will you be the last ones. There are those ones who fasted before you were there or you were born or you were, you, you, you were onto this world. And there are those ones who will fast when you have left the world. So in this holy month of Ramadan, what Allah wants from you, because he has wanted it from those who are before you and after you, is to, at the end of these 30 days or 29 days, to have achieved a certain degree of God consciousness, certain degree of piety, certain degree of righteousness in the eyes of God. At the end of the 30 days of fasting, if respected, a Muslim will have renewed his or her commitment to the Almighty Allah, a loyalty that Sheikh Qasim says must be kept even after Ramadan. And so fasting the holy month of Ramadan is to renew our commitment, renew our connection, renew our interaction with Almighty Allah, so that even at the end of the, the holy month of Ramadan, we push this connection, this consciousness in our daily lives for the goodness of humanity. It is a time where the rich will understand that there is a time when someone must eat because they also feel the hunger. It's a time when the rich understand that really someone needs water in life. Because time comes when someone is thirsty in some time of the day needs water but because of self restraint cannot take that water. So these are days of connecting with the ordinary people who don't live the life some people live. Besides spiritual well-being, Sheikh highlights that fasting also helps improve one's overall health. People might think that Ramadan is a punishment. It's not a punishment. Even when we come back to our normal living, Ramadan is, is one of the healthiest, uh, the, the healthiest months you can have in terms of the feeding habits, in terms of time management, but also in terms of, of how you interact with the whole environment. So, Whereas fasting during Ramadan means abstinence from all food or drink including water and chewing gum from dawn to sunset, Sheikh Kasim highlights a category of individuals exempted from fasting. However, he says these are bound to fulfill certain responsibilities in return. So now there are those ones who cannot fast and cannot compensate because their condition is permanent. They have got permanent chronic ulcers, they have got the di diabetes, or such, such, such kinds. For those ones, they, have give, they are given a provision of feeding, of feeding a, a needy person every day. On that kind of a meal, they would have fed on if they were fasting. Sheikh Kasim further guides on several things that may invalidate one's fast. You are fasting, you are mamongering. You are fasting, you are forging a signature in office. Because that, that's zura, tazwil, that is forgery. Uh, you, you are fasting, you are forging a signature in office. You are fasting, you, you are the one who is alterating checks. You, you are fasting, you are the one who is abusing people. You are a border, border rider. But every lady who passes by you are the one shouting at her and you are fasting. For us, for example, the, the, the married people, uh, you are restrained from having sexual intercourse with your wife from that morning to that evening. Why? Because this is something, this is what, this is something people like most, especially men and women when they are married. 
the holy month of Ramadan encourages people not only to get closer to God, but also quit bad habits and try to become a better version of themselves. John William Ogenda, Freddy Christie Sawo for BTM on News Today.